Let's go. Let's go, baby. Mark it down right now. Miles Brennan, all SEC 2020. Let's go. But there is one question mark, and it's something that we probably got wrong about Joe Burrow. Steve Insminger is all behind this quarterback. He said to jump on the Miles Brennan bandwagon. But more importantly, the offense will remain the same and that Miles Brennan can make all the throws. What's this question mark you're talking about? And what are we missing about Joe Burrow? And honestly, the one thing that just, it, it hit me like a ton of bricks. What really made Joe Burrow special is what we get wrong about how he plays quarterback. And the way you can look at it is through Joe Burrow's pro comparisons. Oftentimes you heard Tony Romo or Drew Brees or other pocket quarterbacks that can't run. Joe Burrow can not only run, but run really well. And if you look at the best teams LSU played last year, Clemson, Alabama, Florida, Auburn, and Georgia, we're talking about five of the best defenses in all of college football. Joe Burrow was a far better runner than every quarterback he faced outside of Trevor Lawrence, which arguably was Burrow's best rushing performance. He destroyed Clemson with his legs. And what makes that so special is that Burrow didn't have a run over 20 yards except in only two games. Yes, his longest run was only 22 yards. If I were to tell you that Joe Burrow in 15 games had more rushing yards than Russell Wilson in 16 games, you would think I was crazy. Whenever he couldn't throw, he would tuck it and move the chains, score that red zone touchdown, and that's what made it difficult. I remember early in that Auburn game, which ended 23-20, to Burrow, when the offensive line was getting pulverized, he would step up and barely get enough for a first down. And that is what made Joe special. Oftentimes, LSU would run five wide sets, defenses would play man coverage underneath, and whenever the receivers would run routes, Joe Burrow would just run right underneath it when the defensive backs and linebackers had their backs turned to him. And it is kind of crazy. Think about all the athletic quarterbacks that LSU's had. Well, they weren't really all that athletic. In fact, LSU has only had one other season where a quarterback has rushed for over 300 yards since 2003. That was Jordan Jefferson in 2010, and it was for 410 yards. And that's what's the crazy thing about Joe Burrow is that we only see his passing highlights. But he ran for over 300 yards, not once, but twice. In fact, he ran for more yards in 2018 than he did in 2019. In fact, out of the quarterbacks that were taken in the first six rounds of the NFL draft, only Jalen Hurts was a better runner than Joe Burrow. Which brings us back to Miles Brennan. Can he run? And the answer to that is we have to wait and see. Quarterback running is kind of a weird thing to gauge. Now what a lot of people do is they immediately go to a 40-yard dash time to determine whether a quarterback can run. Well, in high school, Miles Brennan ran a not-so-impressive 4.99 40-yard dash. Just for comparison's sakes, uh, Jacob Eason ran a 4.89 40-yard dash, and he is one of the most immobile quarterbacks I've ever seen that's not really a good way to judge a quarterback's mobility because you can be an effective runner without being Lamar Jackson. It comes down to your ability to read a defense and your actual tenacity and willingness to run. And that's the crazy thing. Joe Burrow, he would read the defense and I'll show you, look at this Clemson clip. He saw that every defensive back had their back turned to him. 
So he took this 19-yard gain, which moved the chains, and LSU eventually scored on this drive. You don't have to be ridiculously fast. You don't even have to have these runs go for 19, 20 yards. Even if you step up and get seven, eight-yard runs, it makes the defense respect that, which ultimately opens up your passing game. And guess what? You can do that with a 4.99 40-yard dash. It just comes down to if Miles Brennan can read the defense the same way and if he's willing to take those yards. And that's the scary thing. You can't really practice it. Number one, the defense already kind of sort of knows what plays you're running. Number two, you can't hit the quarterbacks in practice nor really rush them in practice the way that you would in the game. And number three... Unless you actually get hit in-game, you don't really know how you would react to being a tenacious runner. That's what made Joe Burrow so special. He said in interviews that sometimes he actually likes to get hit. And not many quarterbacks would say that. That's what made Joe Burrow special. He had it up here, not only mentally, but as a fierce, ferocious competitor. He didn't care. He would do whatever it took to get his team that extra yard. And judging by Miles Brennan and interviews and what I've heard from people inside the building and out, he's willing to do whatever it takes for the team. So, does Miles Brennan have to be able to run to be an elite LSU quarterback? No. Zach Mettenberger was an elite LSU quarterback, and he was just fine never running the ball. But I'll give you two things in closing. Number one, if you are able to run... It does add so much to your offense. Defenses are limited in what they can do. You're also able to run quarterback draws whenever you line up in five wide, which LSU did very well against Clemson, Alabama, and even for a big touchdown against Auburn. You know, we talk so much about Tua versus Burrow and that big game in early November. The biggest difference between Alabama and LSU in that game was Burrow's runs. When a quarterback runs and gets a first down, and takes a hit, and gets up, fired up, it sends a message to your team that your signal caller, your leader, is willing to do whatever it takes for your team to win. And that mental message really resonates with the locker room. So yes, I think Miles Brennan is the real deal, but If he wants to be a true Heisman-level quarterback, I want to see him make some plays with his legs next year. And those plays will be there, trust me. They'll be double-covering Jamar and Terrace on the outside. Those runs, they'll be there for the taking. But will Miles take them? We'll have to wait and see. Boom! Let's go! Get on this Miles Brennan bandwagon. Let's see it, baby! I'm loving what you guys are doing with the podcast. I appreciate all your support with my chat sports videos. I love it. Thank you so much. Don't forget to check out Podbean where we talk about this same subject, but we even go deeper into my research. So go on ahead and check that out, and you can find that in the link below. Subscribe. We once again have the Sports Collectibles YouTube channel coming out pretty soon. You're going to love it, and we're going to be giving out I don't know where it is, but an autographed photo of Odell Beckham Jr. making the catch with the New York Giants. We'll be giving that away on that other channel that's coming up pretty soon, so don't miss out on that. It's Power Hour LSU. Boom! What's that? That Leonard Fournette? Millie Rock. Millie! Ha!